It's been quite a while. I assume you are no longer Dr. Rachel's attendant. No, sir. I've only recently been given a new assignment. I have been commanded to serve in the Blood Special Forces Unit. I am glad to see you again, Julius. Captain? Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sheil Allenson. As of today, I am a member of Blood and proud to serve. I too was raised at the Magnolia Compass Orphanage. Julius and I both learned to be soldiers and god-eaters under Dr. Rachel's tutelage. I've had extensive training in military tactics and strategy, as well as special operations. I hope my knowledge can be put to good use. Um, that is all. Please, Sheil, there is no need to remain so tense. Welcome to Blood. We are so proud to count you among us. Finally, all of our cadets have been gathered together. Your powers pulse with your heart. You will become leaders. Far beyond the elite of God Eaters, you will be the very saviors of all humanity. Julius? Blood Special Forces will now shift its focus to tactical cohesion. To that end, I will promote one among us to Vice Captain. Their task will be to oversee Blood's growth into a truly unified whole. With exceptional combat abilities, a dedication to their allies, and awakened blood power. You are the most suitable candidate. Will you accept the position of Vice Captain? Wow, Vice Captain? So cool! The ideal choice, really. Romeo's unreliable, and Nana's, well, Nana. Oh, shut up, Gil. You're way worse than me! Yeah, I don't think so. 
You stand too far from the enemy. You miss, and then you call yourself a crack shot. Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Charge into everyone's line of fire. Guy. Yeah? Who's everyone? Not me, actually. Me, you idiot! Duh! As you can see, Team Cohesion is still quite worrying. I trust you'll bring them together. Shio, together with the Vice Captain, you will help to unify the Blood Unit. Understood, sir. I expect the same of you three. I want you all to fight as one mind, each in perfect sync. I look forward to working with you, Vice Captain. Our task is daunting and there's much to be done, but I believe we shall succeed. sincerely hope we can do all that is expected of us. If it's not improper, Vice Captain, I have a question I'd like to ask. How many combat operations have you participated in since joining the Blood Unit? I see. So you don't have much first-hand battle experience just yet. Thus, beginning in our next sortie, we will focus on advancing Blood's tactical cohesion. Do you have anything you'd like to ask of me, Vice Captain? Yes. We were raised together at the Magnolia Compass Orphanage. Dr. Rachel was our caretaker. Under her, we learned practical knowledge and pride as God-eaters. It is really thanks to her that I serve as one of mankind's defenders. Some may think of our task as a burden, but I do not. I suspect you are much the same. Various martial arts, a broad selection of weapons as well as sabotage, espionage, and assassination. All of that is nothing compared to the combat seen by those on the front lines. Dr. Rachel shared with me the story of your awakening. She was awed by your skill in combat. 
I may not have much combat experience, but I hope I can contribute my tactical knowledge to our team. Um, in this situation, uh, our abilities may complement each other, if you understand my meaning. Perhaps I can amend some of your shortcomings and you can... Uh, sorry, that was rather rude. My apologies, I am not well versed in social conversation. By the way, would you look over this document I've prepared? I analyzed everyone's combat data until this point, and devised a training regimen. Every 24-hour period contains 8 hours for sleep, 2 for eating, and 4 for undertaking our operations. That leaves 4 hours for physical combat readiness training, and the final 6 for classroom study. Also, if you'll look here, I've designed individual training routines for each member. They may not be 100% accurate, but I believe using them will improve- I believe that's all for now. Thank you for your time, Vice Captain. Bad. 
can help with that. 